Next, I would like to talk the, about the anatomy of the endocannabinoid system. Where do you find this? What it is? Um, so it's, like I mentioned, it's the biggest receptor system in the body, and there's two main receptors. The first one here is called a CB1 receptor. Um, the CBD, CB1 receptors are really the ones in the central nervous system. They're very high in the brain, um, in the peripheral nervous system, but it doesn't just stop there. It actually goes out into the connective tissue. All right, so all of our connective tissue in the body is full of CB1 receptors. Um, also, it's in the gonads, it's in all our glands, so our immune system. Um, and it's the most abundant G protein, um, actually, receptor system in the body. And what are G proteins? Um, those are actually the molecular switches that um, work of taking what's outside of the cell into the cell, okay? So all cells are gonna have CB1 receptors that are actually allowing things on the outside to go in. So it's the most prolific G protein receptor in the body. And it has a role to help us relax. It helps with sleep. Um, when you actually, if you've ever used THC, you actually, it deals with memory. So our memory is highly controlled by the endocannabinoid system. Um, for that reason, we see it working for things like Alzheimer's, right? Um, you know, and, and actually memory in general. So here is a receptor. So this is um, a receptor in our brain. So how we, we have a CB1. So as you can see there, we have all these receptors, and this is really biochemistry. Um, but what, and we're going to talk about this a little bit more in depth later on, but what the endocannabinoid system is doing, it's like a, a, a radio knob turning the volume up or down. So what it does is the synaptic cleft, as we can see here, there's a presynaptic cleft right here, presynaptic terminal, and there's a postsynaptic terminal. So what it's doing is, is the nerves go from you know, central to peripheral, so they go one way in synaptic clefts. The endocannabinoid system actually turns it up or it turns it down, so it goes the opposite way. So it can go from postsynaptic cleft to pre. Does that make sense? So it's turning up or turning that down nerve impulses, which is actually, when you think about it, it's a pretty major thing that something's going the other way. You know, it's not just a one-way system. And what's going the other way is the endocannabinoid system and our endocannabinoids. Again, on the right there, we see the neurons. So we have cannabinoids here, and they work here with our receptors. It's like a key and lock system. So um, these receptors, CB1 receptors, are on all neurons, and the, en the endocannabinoids are going to turn them up or turn them down through the receptor network. So that's CB1. CB2 receptors are predominantly found in, immune, in the immune system and its associated structures. But it's not just in the immune system, but that's where it's the most highly concentrated. And again, as you can see, we have these receptors that are bringing these endocannabinoids into the immune cells. The cannabinoids are, are working this way. And of course, phytocannabinoids are doing the same. Right? So if I take a, an herbal substance, I'm working in this balancing system. So those are CB2 receptors. So the anatomy are based on CB1 and CB2 receptors. Mm -hmm.